video we will see how to use Excel spreadsheet to do calculations for evaluation of trueness during our validation studies. As explained in the lectures, one of the possibilities to find trueness is to have a certified reference material. And in this example, we have a certified material that is water. And it has a certificate of analysis for a couple of analytes. And for those analytes, you have a certified value as well as uncertainty. And this would make it a certified reference material. In this specific example, we are looking at perfluorohexanoic acid as our analyte. And what you would do first is that you would analyze this water with the method that you are validating. In many cases, you can't do that many replicate measurements because maybe there's not enough of that certified reference materials because they can be quite expensive. And in our case, we have done three parallel measurements and we would use those values to evaluate our trueness. As we can see for the bias, we have our laboratory value and the reference value. Since we have parallel measurements, we would start with finding an average of the results that we have done. And this would give us our laboratory value. The reference value you can take from the certificate. And we can see here that for our analyte it's 7.4. And with these two numbers we can find the bias. Similarly to precision, this bias characterizes trueness at this specific concentration level. Therefore, it is actually useful to find relative bias that would characterize your method better. And with that we can use this formula here and we can use this over the reference value. And this gives us 6.5% as our relative bias. And we can use that to characterize our method trueness. So, secondly, what we would have to find is that is this bias statistically important? And for that, there are a couple of different scores. And in this example, we are actually using a zeta score because it also uses the uncertainties of those two values that we have, the laboratory value and the reference value. However, you might find it um, problematic that you might not have your uh, uncertainty at this point in your analysis. And in this case, what you would actually use is the standard deviation of your measurements as your um, uncertainty. And this would be 0.47. What uh, from the certificate of analysis, we can actually see that we do have an uncertainty uh, available for our analyte of interest and this is one. However, what we have to look here is from the certificate that the uncertainty presented here is actually an expanded uncertainty with a coverage factor of k equals 2. And this means that the real um, uncertainty is actually 1 um, divided by 2, which would give us the uncertainty of your reference value 0.5 nanograms per liter. And when we enter all these numbers that we now have available into our um, Excel spreadsheet, we can actually calculate with this formula a zeta score. And in this case, we would get it uh, 0.71. For zeta score, there is this um, scoring system available um, that you can see here. 
and you can see that if your value is below 2, which our value is, it's 0.71, it is actually a satisfactory result and it means that bias is not statistically important and we can be very satisfied with the result that you have obtained during this Junus evaluation. And this was how to evaluate Junus using an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs>